Hey everybody, what's up? I am sitting in a different location. Um, I was just watching a family of deer and it was so cute. Um, I'm going to do an, the last connect to a departed loved one because I have to get home and organize my stuff for the week. I'm cooking up my meals and I'm trying to stay up till 2 a.m. because that's when my shift ends tomorrow. <laughs> so I can sleep. Okay, let's see what in the collective, what deceased loved one wants to come through with a message. It's getting cold. Poor trick or treaters. It's actually stopped raining. It's dry right now, so that's good. I'm in a completely different town. I was in Manoa, now I'm in North Syracuse. Or, I was just in North Syracuse, now I'm in East Syracuse, sorry. Ooh, the spirit is at peace. Getting a few things. Okay, so this is a well-known case. I don't know if this person was ever found, went missing. Um, I'm even getting Vietnam, missing in Vietnam vibes for some. Clean it up in reverse. Okay, so maybe it was a famous case and the murderers weren't able to clean up all the evidence. They could have some evidence. But to me, I just feel like this case was never closed. This person, see that fire, was very angry when I feel like. I'm just going to say, like, something bad happened. This was, like, a murder, um, hit and run, or, like, a drunk driver, or left for dead, or, like, crime of passion type of shit. But then I'm also getting missing vibes. Like, somebody who went missing. Ugh, oh, my throat. Message in a bottle. They try to communicate. They try to leave signs and clues. They're not between worlds anymore. They're not earthbound. They have crossed over to heaven. And they're okay with this rainbow. Despite whatever happened and that was very severe and never finished for you guys, they have overcome it. And I think for a while they were earthbound. Um, they were an angry because it, it was something that was very harsh and Oh my god, it went down in there. I can feel it with my finger. Oh, I can't wait to move into this place. To be fair. Ooh. They went home to be fair to you because I think um, they could have been giving you a problem um, when they were earthbound. You could have had some, some phenomena happen around you or you just... They, you guys couldn't let go because they couldn't let go or something like that. They felt the need to be fair to you. Um, they want closure for you, not for themselves. Or perhaps they left a mess in their wake that they um, wish they could be fair and take the burden. That's for some. Never ending story in reverse. So this isn't a case that's talked about anymore. Um, or this could have had some kind of closure. Tell me more about this mending. Perhaps the family, there was a lot of beef because there's anger here. Um, they, people got accused, people were asking questions, like, so, like I said, something hostile happened here. And I think, um, perhaps in anger and in grief, people lashed out. Um, so there's mending in family and relationships at this time, they're referencing. Time to go, it was just time for them to go, and that's why they decided to cross over. TikTok, yeah. Time is precious on this earth, is what they're saying. They want you to enjoy it time to walk away from this burden of what happened to them 
They're always going to try to help you get closure. They're always going to try to give you details, but it, they don't want you to like hold your life up for that. Yeah, they want you to live a new life without worrying about what happened to this person. Um, you need to rest. Like, it's time to take a break. By the book, you did everything you could do. Don't question it. Um, unfinished symph symphony, so perhaps this is a closed case or they're referencing it will be. Something, somebody's going to think of, or somebody did think of a clue. It's like something so obvious but was missed. And that so obvious led to something else. If that hasn't happened, it will. Yeah, it's, somebody's going round and round and round about the details. And they're like, they're going to find the link. They're working hard to chop away at this case so they don't want you to worry because it's headed in the right direction it's time to focus on yourself and not what happened to them and mend your relationships and build a new start a new life for yourself chaos and conflict is ending if that's what you're in right now or it won't be chaos and conflict if you put this away like perhaps that's what this case has been perhaps you've been hounded it's just like everybody needs to know and it's exhausting and you need to come away from that put up those boundaries step away from that work on yourselves build your lives up it's not for you to solve this case leave it to the professionals trust it that they're gonna See, it's like they're dropping the cards because the clues are hard to find. But they're going to get that blessing for you. It's like they have to look in specific spots to find the links. And someone's going to match it up. I feel like there's a detective out there that this case doesn't sit right. Like, I don't think they'll ever give it up. Yeah, because they're fated to close it. You're gonna, they just want you to be happy. They're happy, and you will be happy when this happens. Exchanging gifts, all that glitters. Yeah, go out there and use your talents and, and make your life shine because life is precious and vibrant, and you're here. And they just want you to be happy, healthy, secure, and released of this guilt survivor's guilt of feeling like you need to solve the case yourself. Or that they're alone or scared somewhere. They're not. They've crossed over. They're at peace. They want you to be at peace. And just trust that they're going to get this case closed. It might not be in your lifetime. It might be in your grandkids' lifetime. But they know it's coming. And they want you to drop it. Because it's too heavy. That's their main me message. That they're okay. That they love you. Um, they want you to be okay. This is not your fault. There's nothing you could have done. You did. You worked so hard. You went above and beyond. They're so moved by the love and support. And the fight you gave for them. But it's not your battle. You gotta lay down the sword. I don't care if you're their mother. Their father. Their brother. Their, this person is saying it's not your job. To take on my case. Leave it to those who will do it. Because those are the ones that they're, this person is working with. So trust that they got it. And do you, boo-boos. <laughs> I hope that was helpful. I hope you have a wonderful Halloween. And don't worry about the spirit. I just like this happy happies. They're ecstatic to be at peace and to have let this go. Love and light, everyone. Happy Halloween. Bye.